Hello, welcome to a new uh, fusion tutorial and today we doing a C clamp. So let's start with a new uh, drawing, a new design here and start with the body of the C clamp. So first of all, let's do a sketch here on the front and let's do a rectangle. Yeah, let's get it like that here. Someone on like this. And another one here. So first of all, let's get some dimensions in here. So this should be about 50. And about this here should be 15. Let's try this also with 15. And the upper rectangle should also be 15. So. And this here also should be 50. Oh. So let's take this one and that one. 50 here. Double click in it. Choose the volume. Got on 50 here. And let's get a height on this. Let's say about 60. Maybe a little bit small. Let's do a little bit higher, like 70. Yeah. Let's also. Let's look good. So, okay. So, if we finish the sketch now, let's extrude the whole body or the, yeah, the sketch. And we will choose all of them here. So, let's get this up to like 10. And say okay. So, so we can see we have done the first part. So this is here with the rectangles, and now we'll need some cylinders to uh, model our threads in it. And yeah, then we go with our thread rod and the knob here down to turn it. Okay. So okay, let's start with it with the cylinders. So first of all, again a sketch on the downside here, and uh, let's. And I push C on the keyboard, so we go into a circle and place the circle in the center point of the line here. And let's do it like 20 here. And say finish sketch and extrude the whole thing up to here and say OK. And now we're doing the same on the other side. So we go here and also say again a C on our keyboard to get yeah, the circle. And let's do here also 20. And say finish sketch and extrude the whole thing uh, down here. So perfect. Let's be sure that the operation is joined and we say okay. So that looks okay like not now, but let's do a little bit design in it. So let's push F on the keyboard and we will get all our lines here. And if we mark them, I rip them all up. Let's put here 15 in and we get our like. A good fillet of 15. That looks good. Okay, now let's take these lines here where the cylinder hits the rectangle. So we get a little bit stronger bound between them. And let's also do 15 here. Awesome. Okay, that looks good. So now we nearly finished with the first body. So we need the threads here, the hole with the threads. And also the last fillet was like some millimeters to uh, give it the clean look, clean look here. Okay, so first of all, let's do the hole here. We could do now a sketch on the face and push C again for a circle and extrude it. Or we can also take a hole. And the hole should be on this face here. And let's make sure it's in the middle, like this here. And say the hole should be about 30 millimeters. Oh, okay, this was a depth. Depth, uh, let's say 20. And here we will say 13. Perfect. So now we go here on create and we go here to our threads and take this one here. I take metric profile and the threads. So I will also have the model modeled. So click here and say OK. And now we can see we have our threads here. Perfect. So if we go over to our example, we are nearly done with the yeah, body of the clamp. So let's take the last fillet here and create it. So here and here and say five millimeters. Okay, that's too much. Let's say three. Perfect. So this thing is done. Now let's take a look about our here, our rod. So this is like the same threads we have in the clamp. Close an up here down, and we have here um, a ball where the top is 
laid on. So, first of all, let's do our thread. There we take our sketch and put it down here and say C for circle again and say the whole thing should be at about 12 millimeters. So we say enter with this and we go E for extrusional on our keyboard again and choose extrusional. So let's take a look that we have everything. And now we go downside a little bit like this here. Okay, something went wrong there. Let's take the body out and pull extrusion like this. So. Okay. Let's take the body in again. That looks better. So 20 millimeter down. Um, we want two sides of distance. And let's take this up here, like this here. And now we say it shouldn't be cutting, it should be a new body, and we say okay. And we're doing some threads on this as well. Before we're doing threads, let's create the knob downside. So we take again a sketch and model it here. Let's push C again on our keyboard and say it should be about 20 millimeters. And we're going with E extrusion again and then extrude it down uh, for 50 millimeters. So. That looks good. Now let's take some fillets here again. Let's get these two and say two millimeters. And we take a coil. And the coil should be laying on the flat side here down. So let's take the middle point of it and stretch it like, yeah, 20 millimeters. And we will say the height is here should be minus 15. The, um, the section size should be about one millimeter or let's say maybe let's say two mm um, yeah two millimeter should be good the whole coil should be running on uh, yeah on the center that's okay and we want some uh, internal triangular so now we can see it's cutting but it's too many uh, revolutions so we, we only need a quarter revolution and say okay and yeah and we can see now here's the cut we did so, the same cut we need on the other side again. Therefore, we need them uh, to uh, mirror, and we need a mirror plane. To make that, we take a mid plane between uh, this side and this side of the C clamp, and we say OK. So, now we go on Create, and where do we have it? Mirror here. And we say we want to mirror a feature, and the feature is our coil we uh, did here. So, on the mirror plane we say it was yeah, the mid plane we created and say OK. So now we can see we have these two cuts here on our yeah, knob. And to get like um, uh, this, yeah, this pattern, we have to go over here and say create mirror pattern and circular pattern in this case. And it shouldn't be the objects um, uh, features again. So the type is features and the objects is the mirroring and the call we did. So now we need the axis. So the axis we only take the, yeah, the curve here and say it should be about 20. Um, quantity is 20, so we say OK. And now we can uh, see we, we are creating this pattern about, uh, yeah, from the round pattern. So it's cutting itself again and again. So here we go. Oh, it looks, looks nicer in my, that in my example. Awesome. Perfect. So now we need also the threadings here. So let's do that. Therefore, we're going again and say create threads here. And say 12 millimeters, yes, that's awesome. Say modeled again and say okay. And so this is also done. Good. So we need our ball here. So this ball, it's like a ball bearing, <laughs> not nearly like, but you know what I mean. So okay, therefore we will take now create me a sphere, and the spheres should be on this plane here, in the middle of this um, uh, plane. And, say about how big should it be 12 millimeters let's say 12 millimeters so the operation should be a new body and we say okay again now we go over here and say move and copy but first of all let's take the constructions out so we take our ball and get it from the back side our sphere and we'll be lifted like yeah it should barely in my cut with our thread rod and still stay free on the top so that looks okay and now we say okay 
And now we say combine this here with that. Okay. And say okay. Awesome. So that looks very good. So now we also need the head of all this thing here. So for that we go again and um, uh, turn on our constructions and say a new sketch on this here. And we go on P on our keyboard for prote um, uh, yeah, project. And we want the bodies to be projected in on our sketch. So we will choose yeah, our thread rods with a sphere on it. And we will say okay. This will take a few seconds, but it's, yeah, awesome. So now we can go over here in our bodies and, yeah, take the body out. And we will go to offset and change the selection uh, should be deactivated so that we can only choose the projection of the sphere. So my fusion is lagging a little bit right now. So if we turn off, so, and we say only, yeah, the curve of the sphere, and we say with the offset of 0.2 millimeters, and say, okay. the next thing should be, uh, yeah, the opposite part of the upper clamp. So we go here and say this here, this line should be a dimensions of 20 millimeters. And the, the middle point of the line, so let's let's make here a construction line. So we do a normal line, mark the line, go on X on our keyboard, and then we have a construction line. Let's say put um, a push W on our keyboard again and take the middle point. So now we can take the middle point and move it there where we want it. Awesome. Okay. So for the next one, we take a line that should be under the under the middle point, and this line should be vertical. No, horizontal, sorry. Okay, so, and now we take another line and put it down here. And we go on our keyboard T for trimming and trimming all what we doesn't need, what we didn't, don't need away. Okay, so we only have to close the whole operation here. Up. So now we can see it's um, blue filled and that means the Surface is closed and we can extrude it or do something else with it. So now well, let's take some fillets again also here and put here one. Like maybe 1.5 millimeters here. And or one millimeter. And again another fillet down here. Like this here. Also enter. Awesome. Say finish sketch. And now we will take the whole sketch here and we will wolf it. Our uh, axis is the middle axis here. And this should be a new body, that's fine, and we say OK. So, now we've done with our complete C-clamp. I hope you enjoyed the whole thing, and if you want to follow me, feel free to subscribe to my channel, or you can take a look down in the description, there's a link to my Instagram, where you can also see which project is coming next and if you want you can send me a instant message and say what you are wishing to hear about yeah i hope you enjoy it and we see us next time bye bye